1 Peter 2 through 9 says, But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellence of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And to add to what my brother said back there about worthiness, Roman says God showed his love for us while we were still sinners he died for us. So we're still waiting on this worthiness to come and says, well, I'll serve him when I get my stuff together. I'll go into ministry. I'll, I'm not good enough to preach or to share my testimony with anybody because I'm not worthy. But you can't be. None of us can be. And if we could, Jesus wouldn't have had to come in the first place. So stop waiting to have your stuff together to speak. Stop waiting for some magical moment to happen. Because before anybody prayed a sinner's prayer, Jesus was hanging on the cross. He had already done the work before anybody was worthy. He died to make us worthy. And the only way that we receive worthiness is through his blood and the believing in him. So Father God, we thank you that we lay down trying, God. We lay down striving for worthiness and we accept the free gift of worthiness that God, Christ gave us on the cross. That you made every single person that believes in Jesus worthy to come before your throne straight to you face to face. We don't have to go through a priest. The veil was torn and we can approach your holiness. 